Okay, this video is uh, for MK1. Um, he's working on the Stubblefield project, and I just wanted to uh, help him out, some of the other people that are working on this. And he asked me to take a look at this on the scope. And this is what the waveform looks like on that Stubblefield pulse motor. Now, each division here is 100 millivolts. So you can see how small the voltage is on this. The divisions here are 0.2 seconds. So it's firing about uh, five times a second here right now. And this spike right here is the back spike. And that, I believe, is what is driving the LED through the induction of the secondary, is this back spike off of the pulse. And you can see the LED is, maybe you can see it, maybe not is just blinking very faintly right now and uh, this coil is drying out and as it dries out it just gets dimmer and dimmer I see a blink right there now I hooked the scope up on the secondary and the spikes on the secondary are very 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 sharp and tall uh, not like this they're just like vertical real fast spikes now what I've got here is this supercapacitor again. It's it's not connected. This is just running on the uh, stubble field coil battery basically that's inside that. But what I wanted to show was I have this loaded up with 1.3 volts right now. And I want you to take a look at what happens on the ring down as far as the capacitive effect of that coil when I give it a jolt of electricity. And that I find very, very interesting is the fact that this will retain a charge in it. And uh, uh, I know coils act like capacitors. They hold a, a charge within them, but this is also a battery, too. So it's real interesting. Now, I want you to watch this LED and how bright it gets and watch the speed of this motor. It's going to go crazy here. And then I'll show you the scope pattern. Watch the LED. There was the LED going crazy. There goes the motor going crazy. And look at the scope. It's just off scale. Now watch this ring down now though. This will drop off. Now the capacitor's not connected. The LED's still blinking, but it's blinking a lot fainter. And there goes those waveforms in a ring down type of thing. As that capacitive effect drains down within the stubble field coil. And remember, each one of these divisions right here is a hundred point ten point uh, one zero zero hundred hundred millivolts. You see how this is dropping down, dropping down. The back spikes are still there. But the voltage on the capacitor battery type thing is slowly coming back down to where it was before. And this is slowly winding down. And the blinking on the LED is going down. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with people. That uh, that's what the waveform looks like on a running stubble field coil pulse motor. Uh, I find that very, very interesting. Now this is drying out, and I imagine this will slowly stop uh, within the next uh, probably 10 or 12 hours. But last night this speeded up when it got cold, and maybe the humidity went up, I don't know. And uh, it was running real fast last night, about like that. Then this morning it slowed down, but uh, that's really what it's running at right now. Anyway, thanks for watching. This is uh, continuing to be one of the most fascinating things I've ever built.